Hey, so um, today is June 18th, 2021, and a little bit of an update. Um, I guess actually there's a lot of updates. I'm feeling much better physically from the COVID, so it's been a year. Um, I still get a few headaches, um, but not as many as I was getting before, so that's, that's cleared up quite a bit. Um, the biggest thing that's been going on right now is the anger that started um, with the cruise and coming home and seeing our system not work very well has still continued. Actually, it's um, it's it's almost consuming. I flew out to Portland to um, see where my son lived for the first time in two years. He hadn't allowed us to visit. Um, and I walk into his house and he has bongs in the bathroom. Um, he is still defending his use of marijuana. And in looking at this four month old baby for the first time, she's screaming in pain in between feedings, um, very uncontrolled crying, gas that's unbelievable. Um, and mom is smoking marijuana while nursing um, and I assume that she was doing so when pregnant as well. Um, I ended up calling DHS on them so that they could get some help. Um, my I actually posted on Facebook a, a post while I was out there having to do with him doing marijuana and he got so angry that he was like I'm not ever speaking to you again and at that point, I knew I had to call DHS to um, make sure that he had some angels looking after him and his family um, as he's fighting this addiction. I found out that um, a supposed doctor prescribed this marijuana or told them to do the marijuana. Um, I am teetering on wanting to file a lawsuit against the dispensaries as well as against whatever doctor had told them to do marijuana during this time frame. Um, as a grandmother and a grandmother that they're not speaking to anymore, I don't have access to all the information that I would need in order to file a lawsuit, but I, I, I pledge to you that I promise you dispensaries that you will be held accountable for what you do. Um, and, and I will guarantee you that you will be held accountable for the damage that you do to these people, including society. So um, take it from this one grandma that uh, you are going to see a lot of consequences yourself. Um, you are doling out consequences for these people that you are feeding marijuana to, and I guarantee you, you will see the same consequences for yourself or worse, maybe a hundredfold. Um, so just let that be a, a caution, a, a word of warning. Um, so that, that's been heavy on my heart. I cry myself to sleep every night thinking about baby Etta, um, thinking about this family that is being told that this is a safe way of going. Um, I am in disbelief, actually. Um, I went out to Portland and the city is in shambles. There were homeless tents everywhere. There were people tweaking that were spray painting graffiti on businesses in broad daylight in downtown. Um, I just, I, what is going on with you? Like America, you have failed. I, I can't tell you how much you have failed. Um, I am incredibly saddened that I ever had children in this environment. Um, I can't believe that I was reckless enough to think that you were a place that was safe enough for me to have children and, and be in. Um, the amount of violence that you put on TV, the amount of violence that you feed these video games that are targeted at children, I'm sorry, but you are incompetent to have any more life brought into this country. You are absolutely not a viable option to bring life into this country. Um, I hope and pray that God just snuffs it out. I, I am praying that um, he acts swiftly 
and that he acts in a way that um, that brings you to your rock bottom instantly so that we're not wasting time with all the people that are suffering as a consequence of what you're doing. Um, I'm sorry, but I've lost hope in you. I've lost my faith in America. I've lost my faith in the people that are here. I went to photograph a bank that was giving away $10 coupons to each family that wanted to go in and have ice cream at a local business. And there was a man there who went out and got people to get him more coupons. And there was a limited number of coupons that, that could go around to the city you know, for families to actually enjoy some ice cream with a discount. And he, with his two children, had three of the coupons. And I looked at him and I said, sir, it's only supposed to be one coupon per family. And he made some excuse. And I'm sorry, people, but you are the worst of the worst. You are the bottom of the barrel. When I travel internationally, I try to keep my mouth shut so that people won't know that I'm from the United States. I'm sorry, but you guys are horrible. Absolutely horrible. You are pigs. You feed each other meals that are 3,000, 4,000 calories a piece. One serving of milkshake was 3,000 calories at cookout. I'm sorry, but that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. You guys are literally the worst of the worst and it is showing big time. Um, you put zero effort into your work. You no longer care about what you actually put out into society or even about how you dress or go outside of your house. I'm sorry, but you're gross. America, you're gross. You're absolutely disgusting. Um, you've gotten to be absolutely a disgusting country with, it's, it's like li living in a pigsty. I have been begging my husband to move. I, I do not want to be associated in any way, shape or form with America at this point. I'm just done. You guys are horrible. Horrible, horrible people. I, I just, literally, I don't want to be associated with you at all.